Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst and we're gonna have a little happy. We're gonna have a whole lot of happy today because I've got a challenge for you. I know that all of our friends, especially in the flower business, are posting designs and like that. And so I was thinking, my wife keeps telling me, man, I cannot wait to see what the real color people's hair are gonna be in a couple weeks with all the beauty salons and hair salons closed down. And so I thought it'd be fun that we go back and make Easter bonnets for us all to wear from home. So my challenge today is I want everybody to make an Easter bonnet or some kind of form of Easter bonnet, something to cover your hair up, and then we're gonna post them online. Let's all just post them on this on tippinahearst.com on our Facebook page. And let's see who comes up with the most creative, but also the most fun, most fun um, Easter bonnet for Easter this year. So you got a couple of weeks to work on it. So I, I was gonna give you just a couple ideas. I'm by far, by no means, great at doing this. I mean, there's so many wonderful people out in our, our um, AFD family that are wonderful with wiring and all that kind of material. So I'm kind of challenging all y'all to come up with something fun to post, just to take our mind off some stuff. So one of the couple of things I thought we actually could make an Easter bonnet with is taking just some curly wool up. And so we'll just make a base out of it and we'll just weave that around like this. Oops. Start all over again. Make it there. Leave it to there. This is going to take a minute. And wrap it to there. And so I can remember when I first started in the business, and I was about 14 or 15 years, 15 years old, I guess. I used one of my jobs in McCrory, Arkansas, was to make Easter bonnets. And we would go get those big floppy bonnets. Remember everyone used to wear, especially in the weddings back then, those big pastel color ones. And my job was to take all the scraps and make borders, glue them around the borders of the hats and people used to wear them to church. And I used to make up a whole bunch and put them in the window, different different heights and different sizes in McCrory. So we are kind of hopefully can go back to that. It's just something fun. I mean, I don't know if people wear bonnets anymore, but Thinking this would be a fun way, but the main reason I'm doing is to cover up our bad roots. So, <laughs> like this. I'm gonna wrap that up into there. Take a little piece of wire here. There. That kind of went south quick on me. But I know we got a lot of people out there in the flower field, especially our, our AFD family, that mm, y'all like to shout at some symposiums so y'all can show up for everybody on, on, online too. Because y'all are very creative and can come up with some really fun hats with this product that you have laying around in your house. We're at your shop if you're still open. Hopefully some of us are still open. Um, like that. I think I'll weave that one. Oops, that one jumped out too on me. What I did is I actually pre-taped some wires and I'm gonna bring that one and catch it back over to here. How's everybody doing today? Starting to storm here in Little Rock. Hopefully we'll weather that storm. To there. I'll break that one off and I'm gonna bring that one over to there. So I think it depends on how bad your roots are is how, bad, how big of a bonnet you need to make. May not need much, because I know there's lots of natural blinds out there in the world. So anyway, so there's, oops, let's wrap this around here. And now we can take some of these smaller pieces like this. Yep, that'd be fun. And wrap that one. This is probably gonna be a big hot mess when it's over with. And y'all may be coming to ask me for my pen back for it's over <laughs> But anyway, I'm just trying to think of something fun to do that we all can get a good laugh out of right now before Easter. Anyway, well there's the base. That feels pretty good. Anyway. So now we'll go back and I've taken a really inexpensive hydrangea bush. Um, some of y'all love to use glue, uh, wet glue or hot glue or whatever. I'm still kind of old school. I still use wiring for a lot of stuff. 
So all I've done with this is I've taken some hydrangea balloons and through all that wire. So anyway, I'm just take these. And once again, for time, I'm gonna only take one. The rest of them, I'm just gonna use a straight wire on. Definitely won't be having to worry about mechanics at church because there won't be a church to go to right now other than watching on your TV. So catch that there into there. So that's all I've done. I've just wired the bottom out with a little bit of leaf, but I've taken it off the stem. But you might want to save these stems for later because A, no telling what you can do with the stems, as well as the foliage is kind of cool too. And actually when we get finished, we might actually like add a few. As I said, we're kind of on the fly here. I'll do one more here. Anybody out there watching? That would be yes, okay. Yes. Okay. So now we're gonna go back and we're just gonna go back really quickly and just wire some of these hydrangeas around the curly willow. Like I said, I guess you'd want the more, the more you gotta cover up, the bigger you want your bonnet to be. But, but if everybody's hair is a natural color, I guess you don't have to worry about covering anything up. Right, Christina? That's right. That's me. <laughs> so. I'm making this one for Gina at home. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> so. know what kind of response I'll get for that one. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna wire that there. I need to whip that one down a little bit there. Oops. Into that, let's put this one down to here. Just a few more. This is just to give you an idea. This by no means is the end all be all of anything. I'm just trying to give you some cute ideas to work with and then I wanna see what y'all come up with and we might actually revisit this later. But as I finish putting that on there, I thought we actually could take like a, how am I looking? <laughs> so another thing you could do is actually format this where you have like a, a flower on top of that one. You can do all kinds of layers of stuff for sure. So anyway. You know what? This is just about making people be happy for a second. It by no means is high fashion and it by no means is great mechanics. But We're just here to, you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, then what's the point? So, anyway, where am I looking? Fabulous. Fabulous. So, a couple ideas here. For those of you out there that are really old school, here's a thought you can do. Johnny Childers was an amazing designer. A lot of young people don't know who he was now, but especially the millennials. That's, that's rain coming down, by the way. But he, uh, the most thing I ever, one of the most things I've ever been impressed with, he actually used to do these wedding shows, and he would actually take a hat basket and he would cut it off. I know people out there are going, yeah, I remember that. He would take it and then do all this beading and skull work, and people would wear the hat like this, but he would make it where he used this as the base. Another cute thing, you might even want to use one of your pot covers. <laughs> so, and then of course, our AFD people. Y'all all about decorative wire, so let's whip out some decorative wire, make something fun out of that. And for Leah in Canada, honey, you all about a butterfly, so we're gonna whip that around and make it something, y'all know y'all can twist it up and have it come around for y'all on that. So anyway, let's have some fun with it, and let's see what y'all post at Children of Hurt. Just send us the picture, and we'll put it on for you if you can't get it on there, but we'd love to have you do it. Let's just have some fun and forget about all this mess a little bit. Anyway, y'all have a happy, I won't be here tomorrow. I'm actually gonna take the day, the day off and watch Netflix. I already watched Tiger King, so I gotta find something else to watch. So anyway, talk to you later, bye.